Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to go ahead and disable system integrity protection on the Mac Studio. So this is the Apple's Mac Studio computer, the desktop computer, and what I'm going to do is to make sure that this computer is completely shut down. So this LED light should be completely off, and if you don't have this off already, what you can do is to go to the top left-hand side of the screen, click on the Apple logo, and then click Shutdown, and then we're going to be ready to move on to the next step. So what I'm going to do next is rotate the Mac Studio around and making sure not to unplug the display or the power cable. And then here we're going to locate this power button here. So we're going to need this to enter the recovery menu so that we can disable system integrity protection. So basically what I'm going to do is basically hold this power button down now. And we're going to wait for that chime to go through. And basically we want to keep holding this down until the display turns on. So it's quite important that the display has power, has the HDMI or display cable plugged in, and we just need to wait for this until the screen comes up. So I'm just going to do this in real time and wait for that screen to initialize. And now you can see we've entered the recovery menu. So what I'm going to do is use my mouse, which I've connected via Bluetooth already on the main operating system. And I'm going to press the options button here and press continue. And then we're going to enter this recovery menu here. So we're just going to wait for this to load. It only takes a moment to get to the next stage. Now it's examining the volumes and also all of the drives that are inside the machine. So now that's done, it's detected our user. I'm going to click on my user and press next, and then I'm going to enter my password. So I'm just plugging in my keyboard, and then I'm going to enter my password here, press continue. So now we've entered the recovery menu here. What I'm going to do is to go to the top left and click on Utilities, and then click on the Terminal button here. That's going to open up our Terminal window. I'm just going to enlarge this by pressing Command and Plus. So now we're going to enter the command csrutil disable. So csrutil disable, I'm going to leave this in the description. Now I'm going to press Return. And it's asking us whether we're sure we want to modify the system security. So just make sure that you're doing this for the right reasons. You don't want to open yourself up to any security issues. Here, we're going to press Y and then return. Now I'm going to enter my password, press return. So this should just take a few moments for this to complete. So once this is done, it's saying here that we need to restart the machine for the changes to take effect. I'm going to click on the Apple logo here and click restart. And then we're going to log into the main operating system. So now I'm going to log into the computer. And we're going to confirm that the system integrity protection has been turned off. I'm going to click on the top right hand side of the screen and I'm going to go to terminal. Now we're going to use the command csrutil status and it's telling us here that system integrity protection has been disabled. So anyway, that is how you turn off SIP. If you want to find out how to turn this back on, then please watch the next video, which I'll leave a link to in the description or you can see in the end card. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.